A festive atmosphere inside the building as we bring you Friday Night Basketball on 2K Sports. Hi, everyone. Here with analysts Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce, our reporter. Hey, Allie. Thanks, Brian. Well, current financial challenges have Commissioner Silver and the league office dusting off proposals for expansion. Silver said at some point, it's manifest destiny that the league will eventually expand. The last time that happened was 1988 with the Bobcats. Guys, Seattle fans hopeful things move along. Boy, Allie, wouldn't that be something? And midway through the season, here's a look at the Western Conference standings right now. You look at the Warriors, right now sixth in the conference. They want to keep improving. And of course, the Rockets just need to keep fighting. Here are the starters for Houston. Green the two with Gordon the three. Tyson Wood playing together in the front court. And it's Augustine in at the one spot. And for the Warriors, the core of the dynasty all out there. Splash Brothers in the backcourt with Draymond at four. Andrew Wiggins is out there with James Wiseman. Well, here we are in midseason now, Grant. How do players mentally cope with the grind of an NBA season? You know, that's a good question, B.A. I mean, you have to find ways to take your mind off of go. things as a team. Having outlets helps distract you. It's so important for players as they endure the lengthy season. Outside Curry. Thompson outside. There's the triple. Count it. One for one to start the game. Well, I tell you what, Curry is such a tremendous perimeter shooter. And I think his ability to set up teammates and his unselfishness are often underrated. Wood, a screen on Wiggins. Inside. And Wood with the stuff. With the explosive leaping ability, he's able to play center despite being undersized. Here's Curry. It's blocked by Wood. Houston and they get it back. And there's the call on That's Christian his Wood. Foul. That's his first foul That's of the game. Foul. Here's Thompson. And that comes off the assist by Green. Thompson's got five now. And you know, for a big man, I think Green is one of the better dime droppers in the league. I mean, he's a true point forward who has excellent vision and sees the floor well. Now here's Gordon. 17 points in his last outing. Oh, Green with a block. Green takes great pride in his defense now. He loves the nine shots at the rim and playing bigger than his 6'8 frame would lead you to believe. He's as surprised as we are. Most nights, that bucket is automatic. Gordon against Wiggins. Gordon outside. Knocked loose. On the wing, Green. Just five to shoot. Late clock, Houston's got to hurry. Augustine can't get it to go. The Warriors have gone two of four so far. Here's Wiggins. That one a little long. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them, too. And the defense of Wiggins, Grant, something that he's turned around in his career. Yeah, you know, B.A., he went from a weak defender to a strong one. He's always had the tools, but he's putting it all together and can now be a lockdown wing. Quick release from Gordon. Like seeing him shoot it as soon as he gets it. Outside Curry. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. To the middle. Thompson passes to Curry. Shot clock at six. Tice against Green. He's off on that one. And Houston will come the other way. Outside, Green. Pass to Gordon. Going inside. Oh, the go-ahead bucket, no good. Gordon's gone one for three on the night. Thompson passes to Curry. Back to Thompson. Over Green. Thompson, no good. Houston has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. 
Now here's Augustine, hounded by Wiggins. Wood, a screen on Curry. Gordon, the pass to Wood. Good work defensively by Wiseman. And the Warriors shooting just about 29% so far. Not great. Outside Curry. Wood against Wiseman. Pass to Wiggins. Back to Wiseman. Now here's Green. Spins over Tice. Tice with the defensive effort. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Wood with the screen. Green with the ball. Now Thompson defending. Green the pass to Gordon. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. Well, you know, he doesn't do it quite as often as he used to, but on any given night, Gordon can still give you 30-plus. Taking two shots. Free throw is good. Now leading by one. And you watch Gordon's game, Clark. It's the kind that ages well. Agreed. When you can shoot it, that's the last thing that goes. He's got deep range. He's willing to make the next pass. And when healthy, I think he still is an impact player. Both free throws good from Gordon. And you know, when Gordon is healthy, he's extremely effective. I mean, he's a high motor player who strokes it well from deep, actually, strokes it well from everywhere. Top rookie passers were over the last month. Jalen Green, fourth. I really like how he sees the floor. A selfless distributor who enjoys hitting those guys in their spots. He's a fantastic facilitator. I mean, just makes everyone around him better with the willingness to play unselfishly. Well, it's been a great month for him. Outside Curry. Looking to end the drought. Fires in the triple. Anytime Curry gets a look from deep, he's letting it fly. He's probably knocking it down, too. Gordon against Wiggins. Shot is good by Gordon. Gordon's got seven points. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Pass to Wiggins. Up top, Wiseman, guarded by Wood. From outside, off the mark. And he's having an ugly quarter from the field. It seems really frustrating. Here's Gordon. Top 
Thompson with a steal. On the wing, Curry. Pass to Wiseman. Now Green. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Thompson, that's good. Just put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. Getting ready for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Wiseman. Bielitsa comes in for Green. Iguodala's checked in for Wiggins. And Moody is subbed in for Thompson. Revisit that exceptional mobile one block. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. Warriors on D. Porter against Curry. Clock at six. Beyond the arc. Warriors with the rebound. Now here's Iguodala. Driving to the basket. And it's Martin with the rebound. The Rockets trail. Outside Tate. Martin a screen. He got a piece of it. Here's Moody. He's guarded by Nuwaba. Moody, good. The Rockets have gone three of nine, struggling so far. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Tate's shot is off. Golden State has gone two of three from three-point land so far. A familiar face rejoining the Warriors. Yes, the finals. MVP Andre Iguodala coming back to the Bay. And you figured it was just a matter of time. Both parties are very interested in having Iguodala close out his career as a Warrior. Here's Porter. After the Warriors picking up a basket just a moment ago. Pass to Garuba. Curry with a steal. Iguodala inside. Excellent D there from Tate. Houston has gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Curry against Porter. He can't get that one to fall. The Warriors go the other way with it. Fresh off a win against the Pacers. Yeah, they hit the court last game with some serious attitude, especially on offense. And you know, confidence is key there. They seem to play with a ton of it, especially on the offensive end. Making the most of that possession. 
unwilling to give up on the play. On the wing, Nwaba. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. They grab their own miss. Martin, and that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. That'll drive your coach crazy, failing to box out. Ugh. Those are free points you're giving away. You gotta work harder on the glass. Look who's coming out onto the court. Get up on your feet and welcome your Warriors. 15. And a look at the stats for Daniel Tice. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. One fifty-two left in the first quarter. Here's Curry. Great D that time from Porter. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor, but his teammates have picked up the slack. It's tipped. Here's Kaminga. He's covered by Tate. And it's blocked by Martin. And we've got 118 left to play in the first quarter. Tate passes to Porter. Back to Tate. Right side, Nwaba. Six on the shot clock. Out of bounds, and it'll go to the Warriors. First in points off the break. Seventh in blocks. And you like how they're taking care of the ball. Minus a few mistakes here and there. They're just so difficult to disrupt offensively. And this is a team that loves to play at a breakneck pace. Once they get the ball, they're looking to push the pace. And they are the best in the league at converting in transition. Now here's Looney. What, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. There's no way that's the best look this offense can produce. Not at all. I mean, that's where they want him looking for a teammate, not trying to do it on his own. He needs to share the wealth there. Pass to Moody. Here's Kaminga. On the wing, Curry. Here's Looney. Moody from outside. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Second team foul. Ooh, good defensive intensity. But you have to stay in control always. Especially on the three-point attempt. I mean, you have to defend that shot without fouling. Now you three give a guy shot. three free throws. And he's good on the first of three.
He hits the second from the line. And he nails the third. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. The Rockets trail. Outside Porter. Comes up empty down low. And so it's the Golden State Warriors. Up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. Defense is setting the tone. And more NBA action on 2K Sports coming your way right after this. And we've seen the development of Andrew Wiggins in Golden State. He says it's been a great environment to learn. The best 19 love to teach. A good player, they're always telling us why we did it, why you should do this, why you should do that. So it's been a lot of learning and also been very exciting uh, for the young players. Brad Wiggins seems to be taking that next step. Yes, he is. I mean, the former number one overall pick. With a fresh start, some of that pressure is off. Doesn't have to be a star. His best is good enough. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. Daniel Tice. All right, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Warriors. Well, in their first half of play, they're closing out aggressively. The block shots, a key indicator of their activity defensively. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnovers. So the Houston Five right now. Tyson Wood playing together in the front court. DJ Augustine is out there with Green. And it's Nawaba in at the three. And the Warriors making a change here. Iguodala's checked in. And last season, the NBA expanding eligibility for two-way players. Clark, great to see those who seized the opportunity and secured full NBA contracts. Yeah, B.A., I could not agree with you more. I mean, it's all about performance. And when guys show they're capable of playing at the highest level, they should have that chance. And I love the flexibility of the rosters, giving hungry, talented players an opportunity to earn their way onto the big league team. And the Rockets with possession here. After the Warriors picking up a basket just a moment ago, Wood finds Tice. Nwaba with it. Right side, Augustine. And there's the lob. Hook loose. Thompson with a steal. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Brian, we know that Stephen Curry generally is regarded as the greatest shooter the game has ever known. He said for him, quote, it starts with a great base and foundation and allows everything to feel perfect. The perfect shot feels effortless to me. Serene and quiet. It's only me, the rim, and the basketball. Powerful words from Stephen. It is a thing of beauty, Allie. Excellent. Hey, Jalen Green kind of started his career with a big moment, being the first player to join the Ignite team in the G League. We got a taste of the NBA style of play. throw good. Green. The seasoning Jalen Green picked up in the G League really did help strengthen his game. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, what a great opportunity for him to grow as a player. Allowing him to continue sharpening his skills by playing against league caliber talents. And the Rockets making a change here. Gordon's checked in. And both free throws good for Green. And just about a minute and a half has passed here in the second quarter. Pass to Wiggins. Shoots over Augustine. And the shot's good by Wiggins. And the Warriors lead by 10. Hey, it's a simple game. Just take what the defense allows. Wiggins reason, smooth with the mid-range stroke. Knock it down. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. That's his second personal foul. Talk about coming full circle. 
Wood was undrafted in 2015. His first opportunity in the NBA was summer league with the Rockets. Good from Wood. And Wood bounced around for years. Yeah, but look where he is now, B.A. Last year, he signed a $41 million contract. And guess who it was with? The Houston Rockets. All because he would not quit and never stop working. Wood hits them both. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. And maybe cause some foul trouble along the way as well. We know what that can do. It pays off typically in good fashion for you. Now here's Wiseman. They look to him to score consistently, averaging around 13 and a half a game. Green, the pass to Wiggins. Down to five on the shot clock. Oh, he missed that one. One for three in this one so far. Gordon on the wing. Iguodala defending. Tice outside. Connects from downtown. Well, we know Eric Gordon is a great shooter now, but he is also willing to make the extra pass. Iguodala outside. Pass to Wiggins. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Personal foul. First team foul. At the line for the Dubs, Andrew Wiggins taking two shots. Shooting two. The free throw drops for Wiggins. A decent free throw shooter is Wiggins, trying to become more than that, though, given how often he gets himself to the line. Wiggins drops them both. The Rockets trail. Gordon outside. Driving in. Over Wiseman. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. And he gets it back. Gordon against Wiseman. Gordon, the pass to Green. Five on the clock. Second chance shot. No good off the back of the rim. You look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Iguodala with the ball. He's picked up by Tice. The ball's knocked loose. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. But look at how all-star voting is going thus far. And so much fun to see the tallies start to come in, see how things start to look. You look at Thompson. He's collecting plenty of votes and could break into the Western Conference's top ten. Yeah, I know he wants to climb the list a little bit, but no denying that those are all very talented guys up above him. We'll be sure to update you as we continue to get results. For Houston, they've gotten only one of four shots to go in. Outside Augustine. Pass to Green. Back to Augustine. To the inside. Wood. And Wood with the stuff. Yeah, nice vision from the little fellow there, Augustine, making it easy for his teammates by finding the open man. Outside, Green. And here is Thompson, Green covering. Thompson in the post, working on Green. And Thompson gets it to go. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Gordon with it. Guarded now by Wiseman. Outside Augustine. Pass to Green. Outside Augustine. Gordon outside. Over Green. And the shot no good. A bit short. 
He just can't find a consistent way to score. And this team could certainly use it. Green with a screen on Green. Back to Green. It's stolen by Green. Now Gordon. Tice sets a screen. Up top, Augustine. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Well, you know, stopping him is never easy to do, but the defense was strong there. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. There are fans that hate on Draymond Green, but nobody can deny he's a winner. I mean, he is a winner. He's found success at every level. He gives everything to the team, and of course he has the rings to talk all he wants. Shooting two. First free throw is good. Yeah, just knocking down every free throw. I mean, I love to see this kind of efficiency. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. And he makes both free throws. The Rockets have got two of seven attempts to drop since the end of the first quarter. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. And he's going for the lob! And Augustine has run the pick and roll countless times. I mean, he's very comfortable threading the needle in these sets. Now here's Curry, tightly guarded. Chalk up two there. Curry's got his third bucket of the night. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Tate, a screen on Curry. Augustine with it. He's against Bielitsa. And here's Augustine. On the wing, Porter. Shot clock at three. Martin misses. The Warriors leading. Down low. And that one's good. Green. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Now here's Augustine. 11 points for him last game against the Jazz in Salt Lake City. Here's Bielitsa. They get the rebound. Here's Moody. Bielitsa outside. Three-pointer off the mark. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Now here's Augustine. He's guarded closely. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Nice work defensively. Beating him up top and forcing the miss. Pass to Curry. Now Green. He's covered by Augustine. Goes back up. And it's laid up and in by Green. Green. Green's got six points in the quarter. Boy, absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets here. Outside quarter. Tipped away. To the paint. Pass to Martin. And here's Tate outside. Warriors with the rebound. Green's got his fifth rebound of this one. Here's Moody. He's got seven. Outside Curry. The three is up. Gets the three ball to go. Curry's got ten. Curry's release is so quick. As a defender, you can't afford to give him any space. You can't lay off at all. Pass to Porter. Over Looney, tipped. And there's a minute 45 left in the first half of this game. Curry with it. Last game out, he had 44. Looney with the ball. Outside for Bielitsa. Moody from outside. 
with the clock winding down. And Looney with the slam. And just an incredible effort on the offensive glass. Wow, follows it up with the put back to finish the play. And a pigeon on that one. Easy money right there, fellas. Going old school on you, young fellas. Look that up, pigeon. Fans, the loudest section is free t-shirt. Is it you? Let me hear you. Look who's coming out onto the court. Get up on your feet and welcome your Warriors. in for the Warriors. And a change for the Rockets. Nuaba's checked in. Golden State on D. 18 points separating these teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. Order the pass to Nuaba. Outside Tate. Just four to shoot. And he banks in the layup. Getting enough shots in close to play inside out. 58 seconds left to play in the first half. Outside Curry. From down in the low post, it goes. Curry's got seven points for the quarter. Tell you what, it's just one of those nights where Curry finds a rhythm and just keeps on flowing. This show never gets over. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. Third team foul. At the line for the Rockets, Kevin Porter Jr. Taking two shots. down the first one and the Warriors making a switch here Wiggins has checked in Porter hits them both and it's the Warriors with the ball they'll face the Jazz after this game that'll be at home Porter against Curry. Takes the three. Rockets with a rebound. Tate's got four rebounds now. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Pass to Garuba. Here's Porter. He's covered by Curry. Now here's Tate. The rebound by Wiggins. Over Porter. Can't hit it from 12 feet. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with an impressive 16-point lead heading into the break. We hear teams talk about wanting to get the ball inside, but this is how you do it. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Guys, thanks. Andrew, this team has set the tone at the defensive end. What's working for you? Oh, uh, we just got after it. You know, it's the main thing. You know, we just try to make them uncomfortable. 
to test everything. And, you know, we were converting on the other side. It's all about the effort. Back to you. Okay, Ali, appreciate it. And, folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. Hello, folks. Still a ways off from All-Star Weekend. But let's first check in on who's in the running for this year's three-point contest. The lineup for the three-point contest, a little more in focus now. And a lot of these names are really no surprise. Yes, these are the elite of the elite of the elitists. But only the most dead-eyed shooters are going to make the cut in the end. And right now, let's talk about that monster first half for the Warriors. They played smart. They took their time and limited mistakes. When you value each possession, you eventually will get the shot you want. But when you lose the ball, you have no control over the destiny. That's going to do it for us here at the half. Shaq, any last thoughts? Well, Ernie, I'm thinking about a nap. Man, that's the only thing you ever think about, man. Come on, big fella. Well, always smart to keep a good work-sleep balance, I've always said. Shaq, huh? work, what sleep, a little of both. Work, no. sleep. I'm sorry, since 1989, what did you say? Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Stephen Curry having a dominant impact in this game. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. The core of the dynasty all out there. Splash Brothers in the backcourt with Draymond at four. James Wiseman is out there with Andrew Wiggins. That's the Warriors five. Now here's Wood. Six points for him. Green, the pass to Wood. Just five on the clock. Back to Green. Shoots from the right block. Wood misses. And they're plus five on the boards after that rebound. Wiggins against Gordon. Here's Green. Tice with the defensive effort. Well, the Rockets shooting a very low 27% so far in this one. Back to Gordon. Oh, Green with a block. Wiggins against Gordon. Weisman a screen on Gordon. Here's Wiggins. That shot is off, and Houston will come the other way. You know, it's really surprising that they're up at this point, given that he struggled so mightily. Green finds Gordon. And he lobs it up to the rim. Curry with a steal. Pass to Wiggins. Green with the ball. Green covering. Here's Wiseman. Now Curry, 12 points for him. Golden State needs to get off a shot. And the shot's good. And the Warriors lead by 18. So we think of Curry as a shooter first, but they're reminding us how good a passer he is. Pass to Tice. Tice is green on Wiggins. Gordon against Green. Wood, a screen on Curry. Now Green launches it on target from range. Green's got five points. That right there, that's the kind of look this system is designed to create. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. The Warriors are trying to get back to the top of the Western Conference. Stephen Curry said, quote, it's tough. Guys want to outperform and exceed expectations. Nobody is content just being middle of the road. It's a challenge we all need to take head on. Yeah, they're trying to bring it all together, Allie. Thank you. Clay Thompson is an all-time great. One of the best shooters, hands down. Key part of the great dynasties in Golden State. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. Pass to Curry. 
And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. The Rockets have gotten only one of four shots to fall in the second half. Clay can sometimes get overshadowed by his teammates, but Grant, he's definitely one of the stars in this league. And it seems that Clay doesn't mind that at times he's overlooked. He's all about winning and not worried about Rocket press. Ball. He's just a great teammate who's easy to play with. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. Now this lead is only getting Warriors. stronger with plays like that. Iguodala's check in for Green. Here's Gordon. He's got seven. Wood, a screen on Wiggins. Four on the clock. Here's Gordon. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Man, miss after miss for him. When you're having a quarter like this, the only beneficiary is the defense. Outside Curry. Driving inside. Gordon pulls it in. Gordon's got four rebounds now. On the attack, Green. And another miss by Houston. I don't know if you can credit the defense for that. It was just a missed opportunity. Tips it. And they've really managed to dominate inside. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. With the step back. Green against Thompson. Stolen by Wiggins. The three. Rebounded by Green. Houston has gone three of six from deep so far. Pass to Augustine. Back to Green. Wood, a screen on Thompson. Second chance effort. Blocked! Iguodala right side. Rockets with a rebound. And after this one, they're at home against Philadelphia. It'll be the first of five games in a row at home. Let's take a look at the best three-point shooters among this year's rookie class. Jalen Green, fourth. The level of competition in this rookie class around the arc is truly something special. I'm sure he's eager to climb to the top of the list. You know, we've seen recently more and more guys enter the league with that refined, long-range stroke. Indicative of how important the three-point shot is in the game. And this guy's amongst the best of them. You can't underestimate the value he brings as a shooter. Golden State has gone only one of four from three-point land in the third quarter. It's Wiggins on the wing. Green covering. Wiseman, the pass to Wiggins. And here's Wiseman. And a nice finish on the layup. Wiseman's got eight points. Cashing in on the interior, making it look all too easy. Timeout call, the Rockets. There's just a lot of wide open lanes to the rim here. That'll drive your coach nuts. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Look who's coming out onto the court. Get up on your feet and welcome your Warriors. 15. Looney comes in for Wiseman, and it's Kaminga in for Wiggins.
Here's Porter, a reliable offensive contributor, putting up almost 14 a game. Pass to Nwaba. Back to Porter. Shoots over Curry. Porter shot is off. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Houston has gone three of six from deep so far. Now here's Tate on the wing, Porter. Back to Tate. They need this. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Iguodala inside. Pass to Kaminga. Six to shoot. Looney the screen. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Looney's got his second bucket on the night. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Here's Porter. And then Porter with the dunk. <laughs> Throws it down emphatically. He's got serious hops, right? You add that to his ability to penetrate, that's two easy points. A lot of bounce ability there, guys. I mean, well above the rim. That's what makes him dangerous. They get it again. Thompson. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. It's on Kevin Porter. You know, coaches have dubbed Clay Thompson low maintenance in capital letters. And you have to think, an elite score of his ability, who always is cool and composed and keeping his head, is an addition any locker room would want to have. That free throw is good from Thompson. Bielitsa has checked in for the Warriors. And so he hits both. The Rockets shooting just 24% in this one. Not great. Porter against Curry. Porter in the post. Oh, nice D from Curry. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used his contribution. Here's Kaminga. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Five to shoot. Here's Looney. That went off the back iron and out. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Outside Porter. Warriors with the rebound. Looney's got rebound number eight here already in the game. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. Seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Woods checked in for Tate. Second team foul. Rocket sub. Christian Wood. Here's Thompson. They lead by 24, their biggest margin. Pass to Kaminga. On the wing, Curry. Shot clock at five. Doesn't go that time. And Houston will come the other way. And looking at the career of Curry, his legacy is set. The titles, records, numbers all cemented him as a legend. Here's Garuba. Drops in the layup for two. The assist, David Waba. There's a minute 26 left in the third quarter. Pass to Looney. Here's Kaminga. Thompson outside. Shot clock at six. To the left wing. Curry with it. Up and over Porter. And the Warriors miss again. At times, some have doubted Curry's legacy. 
Hard to make a case against him, though, in my opinion. <laughs> I agree, B.A. He has produced in every capacity. It's just a matter of how great he is. One of the top three point guards of all time. Here's Garuba. Pass to Martin. Outside Nwaba. The three is up. Warriors with the rebound. There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter. Bielica against Wood to the middle. Tipped. Here's Martin. Outside Porter. Inside. And Wood with the basket on the assist by Porter. Wood's got eight points. Wood taking good advantage of his size and his height, getting him a look at the hoop right there. The and so the it's the Golden quarter. State Warriors ending the quarter with a 20-point edge. They've had incredible success defensively, taking away good looks and pressuring shooters. We'll be right back with you shortly. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. For me, next to the big time alley oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet looking NBA highlights. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. So on the floor for Houston, Tyson Wood playing together in the front court. Green out there with DJ Augustine. And it's Nawaba in at the small forward. Now here's Green. Wiggins outside. Green with a screen on Green. Four on the clock. Wiggins drives in. What a play from Wiggins. Fantastic. And out picking the defense off the dribble. Bang! Bielica against Green. Pass to Wood. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And that's out of bounds. Last touch by Wiseman. gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Well, back in 2017, the league adjusted the odds to the lottery. How do you like the change? I really love it. I mean, instead of drawing the top three, it's now the top four adding to the randomness and giving another team a chance to be in that mix with the top pick. And evening out the odds has produced some shockers, too. New Orleans getting Zion was one of them. Now here's Wiseman. Back to Curry. Clock at six. There's a screen by Bielica. Curry gets the bucket. And I'll tell you, we see Curry working on his balance all the time. Well, I'll tell you what, it paid off on that challenging play. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Surprising to see him miss here, but they'll be happy with that shot in most possessions. Down low. And that one's good. Weisman seems to have a knack for hitting guys in their spots. His vision, excellent. Now here's Augustine. He's covered by Curry. Pass to Wood. The shot no good. Good work defensively by Weisman. Bielica against Green. Let's go with a three. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Dice has got four rebounds now. Going into halftime, he had two threes in his pocket, but hasn't added to that total since. Well, we talk about it all the time. Hard work pays off, and Wood works extremely hard to fight for the finish he wanted there. Outside Curry. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. Outside, Augustine. Outside, Green. 
Coaching turnover is a fact of life in the NBA. Grant, as a player, how tough is it to adapt to a new coach? Well, it depends on the timing. I mean, an offseason change gives the team a time to get used to a new system. Now, if it happens in midseason, it can be a little tough. The learning curve is definitely steep. And here's Curry for three. He buries it from three. Curry's got five points now this quarter. All right, guys, what's your take on the hustle stats for the Warriors? Oh, their defense has been outstanding, closing out on shots and blocking quite a few as well. You know, one other area they're doing well in is steals. I mean, they've knocked the ball loose a number of times and been able to track it down after the fact. A different look here. Iguodala's checked in for Green. Moody comes in for Bielitsa. Lee, he's checked in for Wiggins. And it's Poole in for Curry. Here's Christopher. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. And that one on Iguodala. And last season, a new entity, NBA Africa, created to handle all business on the continent. Grant, you're an investor. Can you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, it's so exciting, B.A. First of all, the game of basketball growing oh, take a break. all over take a break. the world and particularly on the continent in Africa. So I think it's not only great from a financial standpoint, but you're creating opportunities for the league and you're exposing people to Africa to this beautiful game. I think it's a win-win and I'm so excited. Off on that one, so he goes one out of two at the line. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Here's Tice. Deflected! A look at the clock. A little under three and a half minutes gone by in the fourth. Pass to Lee. To the inside. Stolen. Here's Christopher. Off the mark there with a three. Golden State has gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And the developmental the path the for top prospects is evolving. Andre Clark, it was job. recently announced Taking a new high school league for the shots. top powerhouses. Well, you could almost see this coming, B.A., again, creating additional pathways for young players to pursue their professional dreams would lead to other types of competition in the NBA. So we'll see how it plays out. But um, I'm not totally opposed to it. Again, it's a small percentage of players that would be part of this type of tournament or league. So let's see where it goes. Thank you. 
Good on the second one. Here's Christopher. It's deflected. They recover it, and he's able to get it back. Pass to Exum. Now Tice. They shoot again. Offensive rebound. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to go. The Warriors have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Iguodala right side. Here's Lee. Pass to Wiseman. Here's Lee. Tice defending. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Houston has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Exum. Back to Tate. There's a screen. The rebound by Moody. Moody's got four rebounds in the game. And it's Iguodala off the drive. Can't connect from short range. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. Pass to Exum. Pool outside. Well, super teams are still being built. Grant, what's the key to making it work with three or four guys who all need touches? Well, it comes down to good communication between your leaders. Of course, you have to have a plan. You can't be out there winging it. And of course, prioritizing wins over stats always works. Now here's Tate. Shot to win the cold streak. The shot, no good. Iguodala with some nice D. Golden State has gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. Here's Wiseman. Hey, he's now six for six. He is cooking right now. Wiseman, he's lighting him up. Tough to strategize a comeback when you're being run over. Here's Christopher. There's the drive. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. Wiseman's got rebound number eight now. And their physical dominance has been on display. A 10 rebound advantage is a good indicator of how this game has gone. Now here's Poole. Pass to Wiseman. Six on the shot clock. Iguodala right side. And it's House with the rebound. Well, Houston's shooting just 21% from the floor. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's Tice. And another miss by Houston. The Warriors have gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Poole outside. Pass to Moody. And Grant, you've been around the game in so many roles. Been a player, broadcaster, owner. Talk about how the game has grown and the opportunities for continued growth. Well, we know how the game here in the U.S. has really gained in prominence and is hugely successful and popular. And I also think that's happened over the years globally as well. But continuing to popularize the game in Africa, India, China, and elsewhere is exciting. There are so many new frontiers for this league to grow. And I'm excited that we're moving Andre forward Iguodala. in that direction. That's his second personal foul, second team foul. Shooting for Houston, Dante Exum. Half the line for two. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. And he drops the first. And some changes here for the Warriors. Kaminga, he's checked in for Lee. And it's Stephen Curry in for Poole. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Curry. 
And here are the Warriors now. They're on a 14-5 run. Wiseman finds Curry. No good. Off the front rim. Houston has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. To the middle. Here's Nwaba. And the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Nwaba's gotten his first basket of the night. Now here's Curry. He's covered closely. Pass to Moody. They set the pick. Curry, that's good. Curry's got 19 points. You know, at close range, Curry has a plethora of shots. You simply can't allow him to get those looks. And here's Tate. It's not going to go for him. Iguodala with some nice D. Minute 32 left in the fourth quarter. Here's Moody. Outside Curry. Let's the three fly. Drops in the three. Curry's got 10 points here in the second half. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Warriors. Pretty clear who the better team was today. They dominated in just about every phase of this game, Grant. VA, <laughs> it's almost hard to think what didn't go well for them. Their plan, their execution, everything was absolutely on point. And they increased their win total to 29. And with the win tonight, they'll continue their relative dominance in this season series, taking two in a row with one game left to play against the Rockets. And while there were some guys out there that played well, what really stood out was the production for Stephen Curry. And, you know, there was no stopping him tonight. Whenever he got the ball, he was looking to score, and rightly so. Here's Iguodala. Excellent D there from Tate. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Wiseman with a steal. Here's Iguodala. Another shot. It's hauled in by Exum. Wood outside. This one for three. No good that time. And so Golden State takes this one, and by a big margin. We saw two different teams tonight. One played with confidence, operating flawlessly. The other just lost. And the energy in this building was awesome. The crowd was involved from the jump. And once they started to really pour it on, it was fun to see how it all came together. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm here now with Clay Thompson. And Clay, congratulations on the win. How satisfying is it winning games in front of this devoted crowd? Well, we always want to put on a show for our fans. They deserve it. They show up every single night. And uh, it's just fun to protect home court. It's one of the best places to play in the league, no doubt. Thanks, Clay. All right, Allie, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Now it's time to present our New Balance Player of the Game, James Wiseman.